Good day, Color Crew. I'm Morpheus. Today is November 28th, 2024. Um, it's morning time for me. Today is Thanksgiving in the United States, so I won't be working a lot, a lot today, but I felt I'd put out a video so you can see some of the things I'm doing. Uh, first, <clears throat> I'm gonna, we'll be coming back to this very quickly. Let me uh, just kind of click on that and zoom down so I can show you what we'll be showing for you that want to see 3D. Hold on. Uh, do know that in our 3D environment, we do have an AI interface to talk with a large language model that is private and not storing your history. Uh, I need to update. Okay, here is the Ask M development site that's running at my house. Uh, this shows the local host and the port number, and you can see we have a Google login and a MetaMask login. And I'm not going to cut this. I expect we could have some errors. I'm okay with that. I'm going through the debug process right now of making the levels have different features. <clears throat> so you'll see a lot of uh, debug here and you'll see some things that won't be in the final. Like right now when I log in, it will show my balance of the Morpheus wallet and the tokens inside the wallet. So let's get that started. First, under anonymous, you just type and say hi. And the large language model does its thing, and if you want to hear it speak, you can. Hello. It's nice to meet you. It's you can push the button. Okay, these buttons will hide uh, because on level zero anonymous, you don't have actually have access to these kind of things. But and this one as well. If you actually are playing an audio, Hello. It's nice you can to stop you. the audio by just closing the box. In our case, we're going to log in with MetaMask, and I'm going to move it off screen so I can do my password. my password correctly. That's a joke. Okay, so now we see that I actually have logged in. It knows my balance of my tokens. I've actually set a threshold that the tokens have to be at a certain level to have access to different features. So right now I'm forcing myself to be level one. I should be level two, but I increased the number of tokens required to force me to be in level one. By uh, doing that, we see that the MetaMask icon is shown. If I say disconnect, it then goes back to here. I'm gonna refresh the page so you can see all the things in the as it goes by. So not, not logged in, does a token check, logs you in. <clears throat> so now, hmm, I don't see what I expect to see. Oh, that's because I'm level one. Hold on for a second, I'm gonna make a change to the back end. And I'll even show you that if I can. First, I gotta find it. And right here we have this, and I've increased the minimum balance. So I'm gonna back out six zeros. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'll check this back off the screen. Refresh the page. Log in. Now we see the microphone button I want to show you. We see that I'm now level two. So in this case, I'm gonna say, good morning, how are you doing today? Good morning, I'm doing exceptionally well. Thank you for asking. I'm a large language model. Okay, so I'm gonna tell it to stop talking. Now, uh, with level two, uh, if you're a MetaMask, hold, log in with MetaMask and you actually hold tokens in the ColorQuest project, meaning there's a utility for our large language model access. If you want to use it at the highest level, including what things will be added like for a personal assistant, like watching tokens or watching some stocks or watching news, those kind of things will notify you when something happens. In this case, I'm just going to uh, click on this button and this would be simulating level one. Level one gives you this ability to push buttons, but if you want to have full interactive uh, voice interactivity, you have to be part of our project. So, what's 2 times 12 to the 4th power? A mathematical question. To solve this, I'll perform the operations in the correct order. 1. Calculate... I'm going to tell it to be quiet. Now, these extra bars here are actually uh, things I need to take care of. It's just, the, this is a answer bubble, and it's just doing formatting wrong, so these things won't be there. So, uh, if you disable autoplay and you ask a question, verbal or typed, 
you then don't hear it. You actually have to force the high back. Is there anything thing that happened? If you copy, it will then, of course, copy what you copy. That kind of makes sense, right? Uh, in this case, we're going to do uh, real-time audio feedback, and I'm going to enable uh, continuous voice interaction. Good morning. How are you doing today? You've already asked me that earlier. I'm, I'm sorry. Let's, let's get right to work. I want to do two to the twelfth power. Whatever you're ready with a question or topic in mind. Would you like to start fresh and ask something new, or would you like to revisit a previous question or topic? Two to the twelfth power. Two to the twelfth power is a large number. To calculate it, I can perform the operation directly. Two can we talk about cats right now? That's a fairly straightforward calculation. If you have any other questions or need help with something specific, feel Can we talk about cats? Oh, yeah. So it did hear that. You can we talk about cats? Cats. I'd love to chat about cats. They're such fascinating. This might be because I'm recording my screen and there's a, I got a lot of stuff happening. This does work pretty well. And it works exceptionally well on mobile devices. Uh, my computer makeup is I have three monitors, three microphones on those monitors, and six total speakers. So me canceling out feedback is very difficult. But on my phone and the test laptop I use, it works really well. And it was listening to me that entire time. For a moment there. It <laughs> so, sounds like you've got a pretty elaborate set. Let me uh, turn off those things. So in a nutshell, and if you log out, uh, that button goes away. So we also have Google login, and that is that. now. Uh, move that off to the side. Hopefully you didn't get bored and leave because you're going to come back, you're going to hear from somebody else and you're going to come back and watch this part of the video. So I'm inside uh, Unity version 6, uh, so upgrading from version 5.8 uh, to 6. I, one, I wasn't upgrading to 6, waiting for uh, third-party vendors that we use for uh, like wallet logins and other functions so that they had time to upgrade to version 6. That and until two months ago Unity had this new pricing model which was very um, uh, difficult. It was like 20 cents per hour of minimum charge to run our metaverse and so I was kind of going hey that's not going to really work great for us. Um, we need uh, that to not be why we won't upgrade to version 6. And I wasn't alone. We weren't alone. A lot of people felt the same way. And so two months ago they removed that uh, requirement. So uh, I just started uh, the gameplay. I can, we can look around. We see a lot of things you see before. You're like, oh that's boring Morpheus. I've seen this before. There's a bouncing ball. Who cares? There's sparkies that don't move. I don't care. Well, I've got a look at my stance. That's um, got some. Oh, wait, what happened? You're saying I can punch and do stuff? Huh. Well, it'd be kind of cool if I. Let me get my keys right here in my hand. I got an air there on the right turn. I need to look at. Oh, my God, I got an enemy. Okay, if I do right, if I do right. After I get done with this sequence of getting beaten, let me pivot around here. I'm really taking a beating here. And I think it's because I actually took a, a hit. Let me try to do some blocking. I can't do a blocking, I can't do anything. I have a console error. I'm going to stop it and restart it. Let me restart it. Come to game. And I'm going to use the arrow keys this time. Instead of ASDF, I might have hit a letter on the keyboard. And that didn't do well. I'm. We have block, which is right arrow. And we have attack, which is left, uh, not arrow. Uh, right button gives you blocking. You see me? Here, let me pivot around a little bit. If I press right mouse button, I do block. If I do left mouse button, I hit. And every time I hit, I do a kind of a pivot. I'm supposed to be pivoting back to the same direction so I don't turn away. But for right now, we're going to walk this way and we're going to encounter an enemy. And, and I'm 
I'm going to smack into him. And I'm going to do the defensive mode, and hopefully it kicks in. I'm in defense mode. Oh, my goodness, I got to get... No, get up, get up, get up, get up, get up, get up, get up. You can't see health, but I have health that's happening. And it diminishes, and that you fall down, of course. Mouse button is gonna break. Let's see if we can back up a little bit. Oh, that's a robot car that just went by that I'm programming. Sorry about that. Okay, so I think it should be noted that Satchel is pretty kick ass. I think. Yeah, I know. There's no clocks, box collider on that, so. Okay. Okay, I think we got the point across, right? I can be smacked in the back of the head, and there's animations that are happening. I'm doing some blocking, and oh, attack. Come on. I'm going to smack him and pause. So, happy Thanksgiving. I hope you guys are having a nice day with family here in the United States, and if you celebrate, you know, always celebrate your family. Uh, make sure you say hi to them. Make sure they know that they are the most important things in your life. And uh, we'll see you soon.